Hey guys, today I have a new Owl Crate unboxing to bring you. I didn't actually subscribe to this one originally, but after seeing the exciting things in the box, I decided that I needed it myself, so might as well film an unboxing for you. This is the March 2018 box Across the Galaxy. The first thing I see is this art card. This art card has spoilers on it, so we are not going to look at it, but it's very Star Wars in my head and I like it. This is a candle by Wiccan Fable. It is Hannah Donnelly and smells like sweet honeydew, which is delicious. Let me tell you, this is a really good smelling candle and it looks like Gemina. I am going to immediately add this to my shelf where I have Illuminate and Gemina. According to the spoiler card, you could have gotten one of two different candles, either Hannah Donnelly or Katie Grant. Katie Grant's candle would look like the Illuminate book. If you got that one, let me know what it smells like. I'd love to know. It's just a planet. Kind of looks like Saturn. I don't think it's supposed to be Saturn. Really cute. They give you a button in every single owl crate. I own a lot of buttons, so I don't know where I'm going with these, but one day I'll figure. Next we have this little Funko pint-sized hero, as these are blind bags. They don't even know what you're going to get inside it, but you could get various versions of Star-Lord, Drax, Gamora, Rocket, Groot, among others. They all have they all have different chances, so let's see what I get. So he's tiny, obviously Guardians of the Galaxy. This is something that you could just buy in a store though, it's not an Owl Crate exclusive. This is Owl Crate exclusive mug, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Even in the future, the story begins with Once Upon a Time. <laughs> Sorry for the glare. I love this. It's an Owl Crate exclusive design back of the box says inspired by one of our favorite sci-fi series the lunar chronicles this mug will make you feel like you're aboard the rampion ship exploring the galaxy with its crew and misfits designed with love by artist sasha natasha it is both dishwasher and microwave safe which is really great i will probably bring this with me to the library and leave it on my desk as my little mug make everybody jealous we have this wrapped item. Sorry for all the noise. So it's a galaxy infinity scarf. And even though it's now very, very warm, just snowed maybe two weeks ago. It was about 90 the other day, so it's very confusing. And I don't know if I'll get to wear this soon or not. Probably not. I'll probably have to wait until it's fall again. But I have a space scarf. <laughs> I have a lovely space scarf now. The next thing I see is this bookmark, which says, A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I already mentioned Star Wars in this video, so you know I like it. And this bookmark is by Lexi Olivia. It's gorgeous and spacey, and I will probably switch out the bookmark that I currently have in my book for this one. I'm excited to use it. This is an exclusive hand-painted bookmark. This little art card says, Of all the things in all the worlds, words are power. It is a quote from Red Rising. 
I look at this and I see like a Wonder Woman. It just looks like Wonder Woman to me. So I'm kind of excited about that, even though it's not related to her at all. So this must have been designed by Nerdy Post. And so it says April's theme, which I already passed since it's May. And now we have the moment you've been waiting for, the book and accompanying bookish goodies. The book is Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. It says exclusive cover, so the font here is gold, and I believe in the original one, it's probably a silver. But most excitingly, we have purple sprayed pages. <laughs> Just a blue book, but really exciting sprayed pages, and the book is hand signed by the author. which is awesome because that means Ash held this book herself. And I've actually met her before at a con. She's super, super nice. And I heard her talk about this book when she was there. She was so passionate about it. This was a really fun read and I'm glad that I own this cool special edition. There's also this card with the art for Heart of Iron and the letter from the author. We also received a poster with the character art on it. It says, may the stars keep you steady and the iron keep you safe. Then we have the little booklet that they keep in here, an interview with the author, the differences in the covers. Okay, so it says that the cover was white. I went with silver, it was close. <laughs> an interview with the artist who made the bookmark, which is really exciting. The March box photo challenge, which I have completely missed, but I'm still gonna take pictures with my stuff. The April theme, which is shadows and secrets, which I already unboxed on here. And so I will link the video for you if you want to watch that. Finally, the spoiler card for the April theme with an item that's going to be in the April box. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know what your favorite item was. Did you get Katie Grant or Hannah Donnelly? Was it this gorgeous Star Wars bookmark that I'm definitely going to be using today? Was it the mug that I'm also going to be using today? Or the scarf that I've been wearing for the video? <laughs> or any of the other things. Honestly, I, my three favorite things are the mug, the candle, and the bookmark. I thought this was a fantastic box. I loved absolutely everything in it, and I don't normally love everything. Sometimes I'm kind of like, oh, why did you put that in there? But I'm really happy with this. That's why I decided to buy it after the fact when they had some available. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye.